All right, so super exciting day. Uh, we have been saving up and waiting for like a year to finally get a saddle for Ginger, our mini Shetland pony. Uh, we finally got a saddle and we finally got it all lubed up and ready to go. I've been working hard uh, to restore this saddle with a generous amount of saddle soap and neem oil. And uh, so let's take it outside and ride that pony. All right, we're grazing with the saddle pad on us because we were a little afraid of it. Just gotta get used to that. Get used to that weight. Looks like it might be a little big. I think we might have to get a smaller saddle pad. There go. Good girl. Gingy, what do you think? She says, I think about this grass, Mom. Okay. Do you want to put the saddle on her? Um, I want it. She follows me first. All right, got the saddle on. She's like a little topsy-turvy because you people don't know how to do nothing right. Look, it's starting to slide a bit. Are we feeling frisky? Uh-oh, she's upset. Just hold it out, babe. There you go. Let her work it out. Ginger, it's okay. The rattling around of the saddle and straps and everything has her stressed out. Just let her be calm and give her a scratch around the neck. Hannah, stay back. She's a little upset and frightened. She doesn't know what's on her back or what's going on or whether or not it's going to eat her. And it's slipping because she's losing her mind. You got it? Do you need help? Yep, let her be calm. It's not a big deal. Ginger, she's, just, she's watching those stirrups like what the scary hell is that? She says, I don't like it, I'm mad. Do horses dig you? I mean, do horses dig when they're mad? I think she is anxious and frustrated right now because she doesn't understand what's going on. That thing is the best. Kenji girl, you're okay. Yeah, that didn't work so good, did it, Mama? She's like, I prefer bareback, please and thank you. What is this scary crap you're putting on me? Do you need a, an assist, my love? It's probably pulling on her a little bit. We'll have to undo it. Okay, I'll undo it. Trying to saddle Ginger day one. Gonna break her to stuff on her. She is very unsure about things like stirrups. And we also have no idea what we're doing for the most part. Gingy baby, you need to take a deep breath. So my girl. I do think that blanket's a bit big for her. It's a blankie? Well, it's a saddle blanket. It's meant to act as padding, so it's the saddle isn't uncomfortable for Ginger, but I think it's too big and too thick for her in general. She's like, I know I'm in trouble. I'm gonna run circles like mommy. Every time she's calm, we should give her scratches and loves. I'm gonna go get a, do you have a pocket full of treats for her yet, my love? No. All right, I'm gonna go get some treats. All right, so we took it off so that she can just check it out for a while. What do you think, Junji? Do you hate that thing? Oh, mama, what do you think about your saddle? Mm, she says, I just don't know. So sweet. Ginger girl. Stop. It's on there good now. Stop. Yeah. You don't get to be the boss, little miss. Sorry. We're just nice and easy. Good job using your dad voice. No, you can go see daddy. You don't need to see me. Oops. <sighs> The wind always makes her frisky too. I just put a little forward uh, pressure on that. She'll eventually decide that she doesn't like her nose being pulled a certain direction and she'll start walking that way and then immediately release the tension when you do so. Nice and firm though. Just 
Howdy, pony. Oh, full stop. <laughs> Talk about desensitization day. There's tools in the way that she doesn't like either. He's trying to bowl into me. Yeah, she knows you're in charge of the situation. If she takes you out at the legs, then the problem solves itself for her, doesn't it? Yeah, but we don't get to solve problems by being a blat. I would just maybe even have her trot in a circle for you, just do a little bit of lunge work with her until she calms down. She's okay, there's nothing she can hurt herself on. Just let her, just keep making her go in a circle. Ooh, you look wild. Wild child. Feral pony. Oh, good girl. Oh, she was only willing to give you one step. Well, I think she saw that the uh, thing had shifted on her. Yeah, she's just really unhappy with all the new scary flappy things. This is the way we're going. I think we may have gotten you a pony almost as stubborn as you, husband. Well, I feel like I just expect a level of uh, responsiveness. She generally is very, very responsive for me. I usually don't have to give her more than a second of pressure, but that's also because I am very military-like in my expectations. She gets a little swat on the hiney if she doesn't immediately respond. You're much more gentle and loving than I am. Oh, yeah. She's think oh, I think she's thinking about a lot of stuff right now. Oh, mama. You're going to undo the straps? Yeah. If you can undo the straps, you're going to want to take it off. But I'm doing it. Oh, okay. I think I'm we're... worried about making her wear it all day. Yep, it's I probably... It it on, it off. Do you think that's probably about it for today? I think we need to get a different saddle blanket though. I think this one might be a little bit thick and cumbersome for her. Oh yeah. She says sniff that thing. I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't pull a puppy and lift her leg to it. <laughs> Ginger. Yeah. Let's get that thing off you, huh? I was gonna let you eat the grass, but so... why don't we just go back to pasture? Alright, we try again tomorrow, love. Oh, she's like even freaking out about me moving my hand right now. She's so nutty. She's a little yeah, she's a little upset. There's the well-behaved pony. Just gotta take all that tack off and then all of a sudden she has an attitude adjustment. Well, I was really hoping that we would get to ride Ginger today, or at least have the kids ride her, but it looks like we've got some work to do as far as desensitization goes. We are first time equine owners, so if anybody out there has experience with horses, saw anything that maybe we did wrong, or has any advice, tips, or tricks to make this go smoother for us, we'd love to hear it. Uh, thanks so much for your support, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and maybe even share with your friends our crazy adventures.